Hello Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly tarot reading. This is from the 15th until the 21st of April, which is from the Friday until the following week, Thursday. So let's see, for my Pisces spirit guides, can you please advise me, can you show me what is going on with Pisces during this time? What is it that is happening in their world? What do they need to know? What challenges could be coming in here? What situations are happening around them? Let's have a look and see for my Pisces what advice comes in here we are also going to get advice from the bottom of the deck at the end of the reading so let's put this aside here until the end of the reading we're going to turn that deck over the trust right comes in right now this is a good energy you've got the stag coming in here which is trust and thrive this is actually a very positive energy coming up here the thing is what i like about this it shows that there is some kind of stability coming in for you there could even be money or um growth of some sort that is coming in which is very very good this is all about trusting maybe what you don't yet see if you've got any worries at all about something like finances or maybe your career or your job or even a relationship i really think you need to trust right now with regards to what is still coming in what you do not see okay let me have a look and see what is coming in for you let's look around you and then we're going to see what is we don't see coming still we're going to see currently what's happening around you now got the queen of cups coming in here very nice the strength card that is good the queen of cups coming in indicates you're happy right now you're feeling satisfied about something you want to achieve or something that you have achieved already but this with regards to the strength card being in the reverse position it's almost like you feel something is not strong enough you got a tower card coming in here you're in love with somebody but you're so afraid you guys are going to break up so just immediately boom you're in love with somebody but you're afraid that you guys are going to break up you're going through a tough time with the person that you love and the strength card is like are we strong enough are we strong enough you got leo coming in with the strength card are we strong enough to be able to survive the painful time that we're going through the ten of swords is something that is painful um, but you do love this person. You do love this person. The tower card being there, you're just afraid that this connection won't make it. That you guys are not strong enough. It ends in the tower. Um, let's have a look and see. Wow. Um, what we do not see coming for you, Pisces. Let's see. The two of cups. You see, you do love this person. But they do love you. They do love you as well. Got the seven of cups being here. The two of swords. The six of emotions. Yes, it's somebody from your past. And the Justice card. Things have been going wrong right now. Things have been going wrong between you and this person. Um, it's somebody that you've been connecting to already. There's your Six of Cups. There's emotions here. You might even have a child with this person with the Six of Cups being there. It's usually an indication of um, emotional connection to a person. With the Justice card being there, I kind of feel it's what's been going wrong. You, If you're married to this person, you might even be fearing that you're going to get divorced from them. With the Justice card being there, your fear of divorce in some kind of way. This is your fear. This is you being afraid right now. This is the two of swords. It's you really worrying about what's going on around you, what is happening. You're really fearful that things could go wrong. And you just sitting here waiting to see what's going to happen between the two of you. Because he has your two of cups, he has your seven of cups. So you're like waiting to see how things are going to unfold. It's also you trying to figure out how can I fix this? How can we be okay? How can we move forward with each other? With the seven of cups being here, um... I feel there is some things that's going to come in here that you're going to have to make decisions or choices about because that's what the Seven of Cups means. It's It's been coming for a while now. But there's good news here because the Two of Cups is here. I do feel like whatever this is, you really need to trust right now because this Two of Cups, usually when it's in the reverse position, the way that it is in, it's not so serious that it can lead to a complete breakdown or breakup between you and this person i do honestly feel like there is love between the two of you and you're just more f really afraid even with the strength card being there it's usually an indication that you have more fear that something's not going to work out it's not about 
um, what's really taking place is actually you being afraid that things will not work out for you. This can be righted. This can be put right. Okay, so let's see what advice will come through for you here with regards to the situation. You got to trust, unlock the magic within. You. Okay, so you guys are going to figure out a way forward here. There is there's something going to happen. I definitely, I definitely feel there's something going to happen. And Spirit Guide just said, um, can be, it can be them that comes and speaks to you. It can be them that comes in here because I felt like something un, uh, different happening. And I don't feel like it's actually you, but it's going to make you feel like, okay, okay, we've got a, we've got a chance here. We do have a chance here. I do feel like this person's coming in here and, um, uh, trying to connect with you, trying to make something better, and um, it's going to be a. There's going to you're going to find the place or a way of doing things that's going to help you and this person move forward with each other. I see you figuring out a way. That's what keeps coming up. You're figuring out a way. You're figuring out how to do something, and that's what we want to see. And I really see it's almost like this magic. It's the magic. To be honest, I feel like it's the love that is there. What is that's the most magical thing that can ever be? I feel like it is the love that you guys do have for each other, the history that you have, the memories that you have, the connection, maybe even like I said, maybe children as well. And that is going to be what ignites again the passion, the love that you do have for each other is what's going to be this new um, start. A little bit of work needs to be done, but really, to be 100% honest with you, I feel like it is going to be healed. There we go. Thank you so much, Pisces. I'm sending my love to you. Bye.